He was diagnosed with prostate cancer, but didn't miss a single day of school. Now that's called dedication, and it's all part of the amazing story of San Antonio dual language teacher Lucian Bogran. From Honduras to the United States, and now in the classroom where he works with kids who are just like him. Hey, I lived in New Orleans. He's kind of like a pool boy. This is not an unfamiliar sight during lunchtime at La Soya Middle School. You want to eat something? Well, I'll make you something right now. I live here, sir. For 15 years now, Lucian Bogran has dedicated his life to teaching children. So you're here at 6.30 in the morning, and out I, the door at 6.30. In both English. It's Charles Dickens, which is an old writer. And Spanish. Después vamos a enseñarle lo que estamos haciendo ahorita. In either language, Mr. Bogran is always twirling out words of wisdom, like the importance of being able to speak both. Unfortunately, in the United States, they penalize you for not speaking English really well. You have to speak English, but then you have to maintain Spanish. The problem and the point is, don't lose your Spanish. The 2021 ESL Teacher of the Year, Bogran stresses being bilingual to these kids because he knows from experience. Coming from Honduras to the United States, not knowing a word of English. So you're 13 years old there? Yes, sir. In military school? Yes, sir. Not knowing much English? Well, they beat you up, so you learn quick. I mean, I don't beat anybody up here. <laughs> that wouldn't fly. <laughs> no. Lucian eventually returned to Honduras and did well for himself. I was Minister of Tourism. I was in the I did tourism, sir. That was my big deal over there. You own this resort? This, this island, yes, sir. You own that island? I, I've sold most of it now. <laughs> so it's not like he had to come back. And it's not like he had to stay after undergoing surgery for prostate cancer. I go to the urologist. I went there and he says, you got cancer and some of it is 100%. You didn't miss a day? I didn't miss a day. That's so, crazy. I know. Cancer wasn't going to stop him from helping families. I've had his brother and his older brother and his younger brothers coming up. The parents says, oh yeah, we know you, man. Or from creating those moments when the light bulb turns on. All of a sudden he stands up and it's like, I can speak English. I can't believe I speak English. And there's no end in sight. Just a beginning for the kids he teaches, mentors, and loves. I didn't know that about you. With everything he's got. This is where I'm helping the kids. If I can help them be better, that's what I'm about. My kids are my world. And when they're in my class, these are my kids. 